new capabilities in the form of generative AI is rippling over our businesses and our organizations in real time. So whether you're a startup, an SME, corporate, public institution or educational institution, all of this stuff is kind of washing over us and we're adapting to it. Some are taking advantage of it faster than others. And sometimes what we're seeing is some dramatic effects in terms of performance, in terms of quality, in terms of speed and reducing cost of, around workflows and various actions across the different businesses and uh, job functions. But of course, what happens is after a while, everything normalizes. So a lot of these new capabilities that we're finding from uh, tools such as ChatGPT or any of the other large language models or um, various applications that are built on top of those, pretty soon they just become business as usual and we, we get a new baseline, we have new sets of assumptions about how we plan and run our business and then we grow from there, we scale from there and then the next wave comes in. Of course it's not it's not as linear as that because new waves are rolling in all of the time and what we're seeing is different use cases from different industries, different types of organizations are all feeding this process. So it's a very exciting time to be around. Gurus and analysts, of course, they like to um, structure these in very, very um, simple packages. And of course, in real life, it's not like that because at the same time as taking on board these new generative capabilities, we're also running our existing business. We're serving our customers, we're managing our resources, we're dealing with all kinds of other industrial dynamics at the same time. So it's much more complicated than it is painted in certain media and technology outlets. But every day, things are changing. For me, one of the key things to really think about is around resourcing. And, you know, in traditional times, we were probably looking at bringing in different types of organizations to help us develop systems and new sets of capabilities, consultants and things like that. But what if we actually managed to repurpose, re retune, um, retool our organizations, our employees, our job functions, to actually release a lot more capacity so that we could actually do more of this stuff ourselves. Our people, our teams, they know the job functions better than anyone. They have a pretty good intuitive understanding of what's going on outside, how their various job functions or industrial areas of expertise are evolving outside of their own organization. So that's a lot of useful capability that we can somehow harness. So how do you get there? Well, the key th for me is really about investing and believing in your people at the same time as exposing them to these new generative AI capabilities in terms of creating content or uh, adapting actions, connecting different actions together, optimizing workflows and indeed creating new workflows, but, but using our own people to actually do that. And the reason we can do that, of course, is because we're releasing capacity in their existing um, portfolio because we're automating more of the traditional tasks that they've been doing. But then what we're doing is we're elevating their capability. We're outpainting our business model, if you like. So for me, there's there's kind of three key takeaways around this. At the speed with which AI is penetrating different functions, different organizations, everything eventually normalizes. And of course, then new things come along and there's a another jump in terms of performance or shifts in terms of markets and industries and new functions. Our own people are the key. They're the key to optimizing our business, to growing our business, to taking advantage of shifts, adjacent shifts into different uh, directions perhaps. The key there is of course the, having the right mindset, not just in terms of the um, people but also in terms of the leaders. You've got to have leaders who really believe in the people and you've got to have people who really believe in the leaders and you've got to get everything marching in the same direction, of course, to be able to harness these new capabilities that are impacting us on a daily basis. And the third thing is that we need to be able to demand from our gurus and our advisors a lot more deeper insights because they need to be able to understand the challenges that we're facing in terms of dealing with our existing customer uh, situations and stakeholder commitments and resources. It's not just about dropping a whole bunch of new generative AI capabilities onto the organization and voila, it transforms. So we really need to be also, if we're paying for advisory services, to really be demanding a lot more for what we're getting. So if you like what you hear, 
Please like and subscribe and join me for more insights into how generative AI is impacting organizations from the Nordic Woodshed.